Do not be afraid. I am the cure. Once there was a beautiful young girl who lived in a small town just south of Farmersburg. Her parents had to go out to town for a while, so they left their daughter home alone, but protected by her dog, which was a very large collie. The parents told the girl to lock all the windows and doors after they had left, and she obeyed her parents' wishes. But there was one window in the basement that would not close completely. She tried as best as she could, and she finally got the window shut, but it wouldn't lock. She went back upstairs, but just to make sure that no one could get in, she put the deadbolt lock on the basement door. She had some dinner, watched a show on TV, and decided to go to sleep for the night at about 12 a.m. She crawled into her bed, snuggled up with her dog, and fell asleep. At one point, she suddenly woke up, and when she turned to look at the clock, it was 2.30 a.m. She listened for a moment, and when she didn't hear anything, she snuggled down again, wondering what had woken her. Just as she was about to fall back to sleep, she heard a noise. It was a dripping sound. She thought that maybe she hadn't closed the faucet tight enough after she brushed her teeth, and now it was dripping into the drain of her sink. She decided to ignore the sound and go back to sleep. She didn't know why, but she felt uneasy and a little nervous. She reached her hand over the edge of her bed and let the dog lick her hand to feel safe, knowing he would protect her. Again, at about 3.45, she woke up hearing dripping. She was annoyed, but still felt sleepy and lazy, and she went back to sleep anyway. Again, she reached down and let the dog lick her hand. Then she fell back to sleep. At 6.52, the girl decided that she had had enough. She got up just as her parents were pulling up to the house. <sighs> Good, she thought. Now somebody can fix the sink, because I know I didn't leave it running. She walked into the bathroom, and there was the collie dog, skinned and hung up on the curtain rod. The noise she heard was its blood dripping into a puddle on the floor. The girl screamed and ran to her bedroom to get a weapon, in case someone was still in the house. And there on the floor, next to her bed, she saw a small note, written in blood, saying, Humans can lick too, my beautiful. Hello there, my lovely patients. This is Dr. Creepypasta. I do hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for the cure. Don't forget to click on that bell icon so that way you know when your next appointment will be. Other than that, I do hope you have a great rest of your day and or evening. Stay safe, and enjoy the cure.